chance to fish for a living, you know that your boat is your primary office, but then your truck becomes your secondary office and it also becomes part of your identity. So that's why a lot of the pros, including myself, take the time and the effort to upgrade your truck, do a lot of cool things to it. So let's check out what's in the cab. As soon as you open the door, you see the cool yellow seat covers, you know, keep, keeps the black leather nice and new looking. And uh, you got a few other little accessories in here, like my navigation system. I got a Pioneer system put in by uh, Britt Myers. He's another one of the elite, elite pros. It's a really cool system. It's got navigation. It's got a giant hard drive on it. So every CD that you put in, it actually records that on there so that your that, that CD is always in your deck, even when you take the CD out. Um, got a couple other creature features, a couple subwoofers in the back. Got to be able to bump a little bit. Got the kickers uh, in the doors, replacements. Got to hear, got to hear what they're saying. And then uh, also, I've got a computer programmer up here. It's by Bully Dog. This is a really, really cool deal. Uh, this is the Outlook monitor part of it. You can get just the programmer plugs into your port right up under here. It reprograms your uh, truck's computer, and this is a diesel. You can get a ton of power out of a diesel. Uh, your gas increases at maxes around 10%. So if you got 300 horsepower in your gas engine, you'll get about 330. But with a diesel, you have adjustable options. With this Outlook monitor, you can adjust it from stock settings, and then you know you can go two, two or three more levels up, depending on where you want to where you want to be. Uh, the harder you want to run it, the faster you want to go. If you want to burn the tires completely off your truck, you can throw it up on the extreme setting. And I can tell you, there will be no truck that can touch you on the road. It's unbelievable. It gets better gas mileage, too. It's a really, really neat deal. Um, so that pretty much covers the inside of the cab. Um, you know, I've got all my room in the back for my hanging stuff. Also have the room for, for my uh, little accessories up here. Got my sunflower seeds and my gum and stuff to, to keep me while I'm you know, on the road trip for those 8, 10, 12-hour road, road drives. Now, let's take a look under the hood. Under the hood here, we've got the power plant. This is a Power Stroke V8 by Ford. Um, we've got this cold air intake system. This is a really, really neat deal. I do it on every vehicle that I have now that I've done it once. What you have with this, with this cold air intake system is it replaces your stock intake with this massive, big, giant airflow cone that's a high flow air, airflow filter and it gives you a nice little boost of horsepower and better gas mileage combination you can't beat. And then uh, I've got my Optima batteries in here, diesel, needs two batteries, uh, they they're last forever, great, great batteries. So this is the, the power plant that runs my truck. You walk by the truck and when the truck rides down the road you can't help but miss the 22 inch chrome wheels. Now these are also another accessory I got from my man Brett Myers down there in Gastonia, North Carolina. GoFastLookGood.com if you want to check him out. Uh, got the big all-terrain tires on there. These are 22s. Sorry Swindle, Swindle's only got 20s on his Tundra. But these are 22s. Maybe one day, Swindle, you can, you can step up and get to 22s. Back here in the back, these are, this is where all my stuff goes. Uh, right now I'm on the, I'm at home. Uh, so I don't have this all my stuff in here. I've just got a partial load in here. I've got a ton of soft plastics up there in the back. I've got a jack. I've got tools. I've got extra hooks, extra crankbaits, all that kind of stuff, extra extension cords. And this is where the rest of my uh, supplies go, right in here. And then I've got these lights, really cool driving lights that we rigged up to uh, be able to work on my boat at night. Just flip them on, flip a switch on the inside of the cab. Can do all my tackle at night. It's pretty cool. So as you can see, I put a lot of time and effort into making the truck look right, making it run right, and making it comfortable so I can ride down on all those long road trips. I've got about 67,000 miles on this truck right now. I'll probably end the season with around, uh, around 80,000, 85,000 miles, something like that. So this truck gets me from point A to point B, tournament to tournament, and uh, you got to accessorize your truck right in order to spend enough time, spend enough time like we do in it.